Hey, welcome to the X31 Topic 3 Pundits. I'm your host, John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Engel to discuss the fact that the iPhone isn't as safe as you thought. Veteran Apple hacker discovers App Store bug. You follow the yeah. story, what happened? Very interesting story, and uh, you got to understand a little bit about how the apps work, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you probably know more about this than I do, but the way I understand it, you submit an app to the App Store, they say, okay, this is a harmless app, it, they sign it, digitally sign the app, and then it's sort of sealed, all right? So the app can't then go out and say, load some more code in, some more malicious code, uh, that you know, otherwise it, it, you could load up. You know, you could have an app that would load up viruses. So what happened is that in version 4.3, Apple made an exception to this, and they said, okay, Safari is an app that can go out and get more code to speed up JavaScript execution. Well, this guy who's been sort of a watchdog of Apple for a long time said, oh, all I got to do is make my app look like Safari, and I can go out to my server, send, I can get my app approved by Apple. And then it goes out to my server and says, uh, bring in some more code, and then that can code can do whatever the it heck wants, he wants. Yeah. Now, the reward that this guy got for sort of blowing the whistle on Apple is he got booted from, well, the, he deserves uh, it from too. the developer. <laughs> he totally deserves it because he did not do a responsible disclosure. Okay. There, there's a way that you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to, if you find a vulnerability, you're supposed to contact the company, explain to them what the vulnerability is, and give them time to actually fix it. You're not supposed to go public with it for at least like 30 to 60 days, depending on how serious it is. For something like this, it could be 60 days. Then, if they decide not to actually fix it in that 60 days, yeah. then you go public about it. You're so not supposed to just go public so was, about it right away. That's ridiculous. Of course, okay. absolutely. That well, is not the responsible way for a white hat hacker to deal with this. Uh -huh. It's just not. Yeah. And he deserves it. <laughs> he deserves what he Absolutely got. deserves his developer account gone. Wait a minute, wasn't there some sort of middle ground where Apple could have said, you know, gee, thanks for, you know, I mean, saving No, because he was not doing a responsible disclosure. That's not okay. the way you're supposed to do it. There's so rules. <laughs> yes, there are. There are unwritten rules about this. There are this. unwritten rules, okay. and if you don't obey these unwritten rules, you're, okay. you're toast. So you yes. Well, anybody who's a security researcher they should would know. know. Yeah. The, the point is that they would yeah. know, and, and he probably did know because he's kind of laughing this off, I guess. He, maybe yeah, I don't know if he's laughing. Maybe he's, he's switching to uh, Linux. <laughs> 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 Screw it. But, but, but this guy is a guy that, I mean, see, see other companies, though, I, I actually also think that uh, this sort of gives you a little insight about Apple, too, because other companies might have, you know, like uh, Facebook hired, uh, you know, one of the, what, didn't they hire one of the anonymous uh, guys or one of the, some famous hackers? If I remember hackers, correctly, so, Apple yeah. actually did hire one of the hackers. But, too. but you know, this guy apparently is like a legendary guy. He's won all a lot of these uh, pwn down awards. Mm. And <laughs> and they should embrace this guy and say, hey, come and work well, for us. Instead of, not want instead of uh, ostracizing him. And, uh, well, I, I think Joe made a well, point. He, he, so, probably, so his crime was that he was a jerk and he, and he, he should get his wrist slapped and then said, you know, hey, come back and help us. Well, maybe well he, he did break the, the App Store rules. Yeah. I mean, let's I think it's okay. a year he's going to be in limbo. <laughs> is it who's been I think exiled? Like, it, was, it was like pronounced. Well, he could just set up another account. I mean, come on. Yeah, okay. Well, well he could do that too. <laughs> Why not? You've been watching X3.